What is Ooh. up? What's, what's up, up what's up? What's up? It's good to hear from you though. It's good to hear from you. What have you been up to? Um I've been busy, you know. Um I've been chilling. Just uh trying to hope Rocket League survives this huge downfall. No way. What did you just say? Rocket League is losing views. If you look at the trends of Rocket League over the past like year it has tanked like it what's well, been on the slow downturn ever since free to play which is fair but now it's getting to the point where it's about at the point where it's like pre free to play views meaning like all the bid creators are getting up like at best half as many views as they were getting like three months ago what, what, were, you you what were you looking at what were you looking at google trends and then filter by youtube and then type in rocky league as a category Wow, of course you're on this shit. Yeah, that's, I mean, funny enough, that's literally why I called you. That's literally why I called you. Okay. So you did know this. But I've just noticed over the past, like, really like three, four months, my subscribers per day has dropped significantly. My views are only going down. Even though, like, overall, I think I'm making really great content, if not the best I've ever made. But the, the mm -hmm. crazy thing is my analytics are not bad. My retention and my click-through rate are just as high as ever, if not even better than, than other times. So I know, like, okay, there's an issue outside that. So I, then I went to a bunch of other channels, like Sunless, Musty, and yeah. their numbers are just, like, falling so fast. Like, I, as I said, at best, half of as much it was, like, three months ago. Like, they are dropping. Like, this is just how it is, and, and I hope it levels off, but if it keeps going down, like, I might have to consider, like, doing something different, you know what I mean? And I'm not sure what that looks like yet, but it's either, like, a second channel, posting more often, or, like, switching games. Like, something serious will probably have to happen if I can't, like, keep growing in Rocket League, just because no, not many people are, are watching. My last three videos have been 10 out of 10, so, like... Each one has been worse than the previous, <laughs> but either way, the la they're bottom three, the last three. So then July has been, I've been starting to feel it. I've been starting to feel what we've kind of been seeing through other creators starting in June. Uh, it does feel like it's ha happening to my channel. It's tricky. I mean, I think I noticed it first on Twitch. Twitch viewership went from mm -hmm. like, everyone on Twitch kind of dropped by half, which is really weird. Except people were like, very dedicated communities. Obviously, they they state their numbers, but I noticed at right. first on Twitch when numbers went from like you know 1,000 viewers to 500, and I was like, it was in the space of like two days, and I was like, huh? Oh my gosh! And then we looked over it, and we we're like, wait, everyone's dropped by half, and I was like, oh my god, like literally half. It's like half the population of Rockley dropped in two days. Yep. It was some yep. sort of like apocalypse thing. It was weird. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Sunless kind of ruined it where I can't make a video saying I'm retiring because no one's going to believe me. So thanks, Sunless. <laughs> um, you, Sunless. Actually, no one will even <laughs> click it. No one even click it, actually. I won't even get that monetary value out of that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's... I'm not in a position where I'm worried yet. Like, I've had lulls in my content, so I'm not three videos that haven't even broken 50k in a row. That's rough. People are going to say your channel's dying, whatever. Um... I'll probably be reevaluating in September. That'll be my first, like, okay, where are we at? If Rocket League hasn't announced anything yet, and my views are what they are right now, uh, that's probably the time I will be making decisions about what is next for me. Uh, I gotta start cutting losses at that point. When was this for you? When did that happen? Uh, two days before that tweet came out that the... Was it Sunless tweeted and then a thing tweeted out the numbers? So like, yeah, like June, July, like late June. Yeah, like yep. very. Yeah, I, I noticed it too. Like that yeah, was when just... it was particularly for me on YouTube. I think that was yeah. around when I uploaded that that video that did nine out of ten. That was one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I hate that number, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially right now, dude. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Every video. Like, is if seven you get of something 10. in the top five, you're like, heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh yeah. Like, at this point. <laughs> Why do you think it's going down right now? And what do you think is changing? Has anything changed? Um, no. I think it's more so the fact that no nothing has changed and that's why it is yeah. going down. It's the boredom. It's not really, there's nothing really new added, added to the game at this point. There's just, like since free to play, there has been nothing 
no new features and by features i mean like something like custom training or tournaments or something you know the tournaments were added with free to play i believe uh so but that that's the newest feature that we've gotten we haven't gotten anything new since then so all these new players that are coming in are like all right i've done everything that i can with this game like the, the less competitive one you know I, it just feels like rocket league is losing its casual audience because there's no features to keep that casual audience engaged it, it's a lot to ask of a casual player to say hey uh if you want to keep playing you have to either be in love with this game you're going to hate it every day you play or you have to be really competitive about it because as a new player if i went into a game where someone was like yeah it's really just nothing's really changed in a while um play ranked <laughs> and enjoy oh it i'd be like no <laughs> I <would> yeah <laughs> I, I had that thought out loud yeah it was like i just realized like the, the rocket league is still very active there's a big community but we don't know what's next for the game you know it's yeah. just, there's is there anything we don't know that's yeah. the thing if they came out and said hey in eight months creative mode comes out i'll be like yeah sick like take your time it's a massive thing to implement but oh, let yeah, us know what's dude. going on problem to me i've tried to talk to some people at sinus a long time ago i haven't reached out in a while um so i don't want to act like uh i'm saying they don't listen to me or, or listen to any suggestions i give them um but it, it does yeah. feel like a running theme that some of our suggestions from the, the professional scene just get tossed out the window without any kind of review and one of the things i said a long time ago was i would love to sit down with somebody from psionics and just go over ways that we can make training better, make training easier, more accessible to improve so that these new players who come in are getting better faster and wanting to stick with the game longer because of it. Because right yep. now it takes so long to get better at Rocket League. If you don't play Rocket League for like a year straight, you're not going to fall in love with it and, and get into it to the point where you want to play it for another three or four years. It's yeah. unreal. It's unreal. And then like you look at the ways that we can train. What are the revolutionary training mechanisms that have come out? Lathamir Third trains. party. Yeah. Third party, yeah. Yeah, and it's like it's when you actually think about it, it's un it, it's it's shocking to me because I think the Rocket League creator base and 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 community ha has put an unspeakable amount of energy into putting as much possible into this game as possible. I mean, what other game has somebody who like Lathamir who sits down for ten hours a day? building content <laughs> for the devs because they don't enable easy functionality to for players to build it themselves yeah i i think some of it's hard it's like a lot of what content creators do uh all the content player all the console players can't do you know what and that's i think that's a positive for content because you get more viewers because i'm like there's no way i'm ever going to experience this i can at least watch it but on the other hand the content creator is not really bringing people to the game because they can't really say, hey, you can try this too, unless you're PlayStation, Switch, Xbox. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's, that's a tough sell. And and I, I feel for the devs in this situation because just adding stuff to console isn't as easy as people always make it out to be. Right, because then you got, you got the console kids who I can't give workshop maps to. You know, I've got these kids that come to me and, and book a session and they're, they play on Xbox and they're like, yeah, how do I improve my air rolls? And I'm like, well, the best way to do it is something that you can't ever do. So, um, sorry, you know, like it's, it's, it's awful to be able to tell these kids and, and half the time, like I have to, for replays from them, I have to play with them to get a replay. So like, I can't get a replay from console people. I have to use my computer to get the replay by playing yeah. with them and then saving the replay. So there's just so many aspects of the game that could be made easier for the community that I feel like Psyonix either doesn't know about or just hasn't looked into, or maybe again, maybe they have, and this is just my ignorance, not knowing what's going on behind the scenes, but at least some some communication on on some of these things like i think voice chat would make the game so much better i think I know, that competitively right? in ranked if you can communicate with your teammates you're going to have a better time you're going to enjoy the game more you're going to win more games or you're at least going to feel like you played like a team more yeah. uh, and and there's just no answer on why they aren't fixing voice chat um the viewership trends i mean rocket league has been consistently growing in viewership since day one there's been a couple lulls here and there but um, things like free to play coming out have boosted it and, and, and things like that. Um, I don't like so much about the splitting all the viewers between all these different channels, but it kind of makes sense with how many teams there are in the RLCS now with the new format that it's not all in one place because then it would just take forever on a single stream. Um, what do you mean by uh, that I do, exactly? 
So RLCS on the old format used to be all the games took place on twitch.tv slash Rocket League. Uh, but once the new format came out, they started having teams streaming their own matches. Sometimes they had the Rocket League broadcast streaming um, and then they had the other streams going with like the, the UGC broadcast or uh, whatever other Twitch channels are using to broadcast the games because there's so many games going on with 32 teams instead of 10. Um, but I do think it's a lot harder for viewers to keep up with. Um, so I think it does hinder some viewership uh, and makes it a little bit confusing for newer viewers to come into and, and get a, a grasp on how things work. I don't know. I think that the viewership being split across a, a ton of different streams is becoming a more contributing factor to more people not following. It's hard to imagine they're not working on something. But at the same time, if they are, why have we not seen anything in the last eight months? It's we're in a look. We're in limbo, right? The game itself can't change drastically for the competitive scene to accept it. Like you can't go and change mechanics in Rocket League or add new maps with weird bounces and stuff and also let esports surround it. Like there's just no way. So uh. I don't really know what Rocket League's way out is. I, I more anticipate if I had to make a slow guess is that Rocket League levels off to close where it was before free to play now, and then it finally levels off. And then it either very, very slowly increases in players because some people decide to pick it up and keep playing, or it slowly decreases forever until the game is gone. At the moment, unless they introduce new competitive scenes or somehow create a brand new game mode that's groundbreaking and interesting, I don't see a way to change the core element of Rocket League, which is just car soccer. Um, in a way that's going to be refreshing to a new audience. A friend of mine said, like, why don't they just make it, like, make another mode, like, um, they've got everything rumble-wise, so just make a second Mario Kart and just make a racing mode. And I think Left made, like, the F-Zero map very recently, which looks sick. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, you've got, like you said, the, the whole Lethemir is stretching the boundaries of the game. He's making, he's, he just, uh, I just saw on Twitter today, he posted... I have now made a hundred custom maps on Rocket League. This guy by himself, on his own time, unpaid for by Psyonix, his own investment decides to make a hundred custom maps and game modes. Why is he not working for Psyonix to come up with new game modes and build them with a team and have people support him in building these to get them out quicker? And, and why do we not have a Rocket League hide and seek limited time game mode? Why don't we have a Rocket yeah. League four square game mode? Like he's come out with so many amazing different mods on his own, a one man team. And, and I think he's has recently uh, been working with other modders to help him. So, you know, maybe a one to five man team of just individuals who love Rocket League enough to modify it. Why are they not working? Why is Psyonix not reaching out to them and saying, hey, Look, you guys are getting so much attention for all these maps. This video that you posted of a hide and seek map got a million views. Clearly people like these ideas. You should come work with us and help us build these custom game modes, these limited time game modes. Why is Bacchus mod not a part of the game? Why have they not reached out to Bacchus and said, hey, we want to buy the intellectual property of Bacchus mod, or maybe they can't because they own it already, whatever. Yeah. We want to work with you to modify the training of our game. We want to work with you to modify all these things about our game to make it better because you're doing it on your own without being paid. You're doing it with your own free time, working with yeah. people who are just passionate. So like, these are the people who are making the game so much better. Why is Psyonix not capitalizing on it? I think we might be looking for another catalyst. Another catalyst can turn things around because the beauty of free to play is anyone can play this game at any time if they find out about it today because rocket league released a creative mode they can download it tomorrow yeah. right and we're all of a sudden back the other way now is rocket league gonna release a creative mode i i don't think so not in the not in the near future there's some there's some other changes that are gonna have to happen first and those changes take time and they're probably not going to talk about it if they were working on it until they can actually say, yes, this is going to happen. And I, I do, I do want to address one thing. It's really, really easy to sit here and kind of, it, it kind of seems like we're crapping all over psionics. And I don't want that to be the case because yep. I, I'm not intending to shit here and like shit on psionics in any way. My intention is just that it comes from a place of passion, right? Like you said, we can sit here and talk all day about it because 
I love this game so much and I want other people to see what I enjoy about it and I want other people to get that same joy and I want this game to succeed. I want it to be bigger than it is. I want more people to have access to it. I want more people to get better at it and enjoy it. And and it just comes from a place of passion, seeing Psyonix not doing the things that we all think that they could do to improve it and not getting any kind of communication on it either, not getting a reason why or not getting any kind of, hey, th this is our roadmap right now. This is what's coming out in the next year. Yep. Um, because it's just frustrating to rely solely on this game for my income and, and my livelihood and taking care of my family and my responsibilities and just genuinely having no idea when it's going to, you know, is it going to come to an end? Are they out of content? Are they out of things to add? Or are they are they even working on things besides skins? Uh, it, it's a scary thing to, to be a part of. So it's not that I'm sitting here shitting on Psyonix because I don't like them. I love Psyonix. Most of the people at Psyonix, I've had nothing but great conversations with. I love the people that are there and the esports team as well. A large yeah. majority of Psyonix, uh, the people that are working there are amazing people and they're doing great things. But it's frustrating uh, to deal with the lack of of transparency at times and and just the lack of, of it seems like a lack of content coming out. You know, I, I want more for this game. So it's it's not me shitting on Psyonix as much as it is me expressing that I want more for what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been saying this for a really long time, uh, and I'm going to keep saying it because I think it's it, it'll be true until the day the game dies. Psyonix needs to bring on a player committee and content committee where they have a certain amount of players from the pro scene or coaches or managers uh, and a certain amount of content creators on a board uh, a committee that they can reference and say, hey, what do you guys want to see in Rocket League next? What do you guys think your viewers want to see? What do you guys think your teammates want to see? Oh my uh, what, gosh. what will make Rocket League more fun for you guys or more entertaining or easier to make content? And that way there's a direct connection between Psyonix and the community. And they're able, the community is able to get their ideas in and have Psyonix listen to them and act on some of them. Because if you have these people like my, and I'm not saying I should be on the committee, but I'm just comparing myself to these other guys with the amount of hours that I have. We've got over 10,000 hours in this game. You know, I don't think anybody at Psyonix has 10,000 hours of playing or watching Rocket no. League. And if they pulled those members from the community or had people vote on like 10 people that could represent the community or something, I really think that Psyonix would do nothing but benefit from it. I don't think it would ever hurt them. Um, and you don't even have to pay them. Like I, I, I guarantee you there's plenty of people who would offer up to do it for free just because they want to be able to see the game go in the direction that it deserves to go in. And I 100%. think that would, that would be the solution. The, the, I really think that would be the end all be all solution to a lot of problems in Rocket League viewership declining. If, if we have a committee of people who know the game better than anybody else telling the devs where they think the directions, uh, should go and where the community would enjoy it the most i think that we would see viewership retain and grow much more yeah yeah i think it's you're 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 spot on i mean i talk with you know somebody like striped and he he's thinking about his headset in the game like how can i create like how do i come up with another rocket league experiment video how do i come up with another versus idea when the community has almost come up with everything and of course there's there's never an end to ideas there's never an end to creativity we can always be resourceful but it's like wow when you actually look back and see how much the community has done for rocket league it surprises me that we haven't gotten more in return you have to think like as a creator like what what gives first when viewership declines and stripe is doing this full time and i'm trying to do this full time right. and you're trying to coach and make youtube content and we can't support ourselves what ha like who folds and psionics doesn't it's fold. scary it's, it's the content it writes you me it's striped it's and then who's next then it's waiting then it's thanovic and then who's next and mr napkin and then it's c bell right and and when you look at it like that that's that's the scary part of what's coming if something doesn't change.